Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and today we have for you the subject of if you think the law is unfair. Why would we ever think the law is unfair? And what does this mean for us? Well, I'm about to tell you. I will make a statement. If you think the law is fair, then obey it. But if you think the law is unfair, it is your civic duty to disobey that law. Now, what does this mean for us and what is the significance for us of this statement? Well, I'm going to first make it very clear that some people think the law is unfair when it really isn't. And people like that might include criminals and, and other debauched people. So I'll make it clear that if you think Fair laws are unfair, i.e. laws about stealing. You deserve to get arrested. So this is, this is a very important point. Some people think the law is unfair when it's really a fair law. And if the law is fair but people feel it's unfair and they break the law, then they deserve to get arrested. They deserve what they get when they get arrested and get prosecuted for that for breaking that law it's it's only fair that uh, that people who do not have good moral judgment that's not what the statement is intended for the statement is not intended for people without good moral judgment because without good moral judgment how can you know if a law is fair or not if, on the other hand, you know a law is unfair and it really is unfair, that is quite a different matter. I also make it clear that I'm not encouraging anyone to break the law unless it's absolutely necessary. So a good example would be a road closure. And maybe the road closure was unfair, but that doesn't mean you should drive right through the barricade. Um, you should obey the law uh, unless it's absolutely necessary to break that law, and then you can break the law. Now, here, what is a good example of a time when you should break the law? A good example would be Nazi Germany. It's okay to break the law to save a life. And so... We, we wonder, when, when is it okay to break the law? Well, Nazi Germany is a prime example. To fight the Nazis, in a however small a way, was a good thing. And to break the law to save a life was a great thing. So, there are times when we should obey the law, and there are times when we should break the law. How do we know when? When it's absolutely necessary to break a law, that is when you should break uh, break the law. But I'm not suggesting anyone break the law unless it's absolutely necessary. So even unfair laws can be born, but you can't bear people being killed for no reason. That is certainly a time when you should break the law. And so, for example, um, in Nazi Germany, there was there was uh, Schindler, and and uh, he was the subject of the movie Schindler's List, and uh, he saved a lot of Jewish people by paying paying for them to be shipped by rail out of Nazi Germany. He paid to help them escape, and um, he lo he would buy a boxcar and then load it up with as many people as possible and have them shipped out of Nazi Germany. And they would run to freedom. They would run to escape to freedom. And the people who who were saved by Schindler were 
very grateful. They, they, uh, they were, they were eternally grateful to him for what he did for them and helped them escape from Nazi Germany, helped them escape from the concentration camps. They were grateful to him for saving their lives. So that is a good example of a time when he definitely broke the law. He definitely was going against the, the law in Nazi Germany. But he sa saved people. He saved people's lives. And that's what's important. That's what's important is saving, saving lives is important. And so it's a good thing to break the law if you're saving a life. Does that mean you should harbor a fugitive? That might be saving a life, but um, no, you shouldn't harbor fugitives from the law unless the law is uh, patently unfair. Like, for example, they're being arrested because they're gay. That would be a good example of a time when when harboring a fugitive might be might be um, a good thing, a good deed, but. Um, generally you shouldn't harbor fugitives unless th you feel that they that they absolutely their lives are at stake unless you harbor them so um, laws that are unfair are meant to be broken but don't break the law unless you have to I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf signing off have a great week and take care.